813. Oh, this looks great. Uh, from picking the perfect wine to accommodating a variety of tastes to prepare for the festive spread, holiday entertaining is always a big to-do, but it's an easy to-do thanks to our expert help from Lindsay Gavey from winefox.ca. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks uh, for having this me. This is a brand new website. It's very cool. It actually launched back in the summer. That's when we saw you last when we were doing outdoor entertaining. We were. Camping, wines for camping, wines for cottage. Yeah. That's right. Which was a lot of fun, but now we're heading into the holiday season, so we're, we're taking it up a notch. That's right. And also the stress can go up a notch. It certainly can. It's a hectic time of year. So mm -hmm. Wine Fox is really here to make it easy, uh, make things a little bit uh, more more civilized and, and, you know, make your shopping easier uh, so that you can kind of relax and enjoy the holidays. I mean, it's so enjoy easy, like when parties. serving wine, you know, and would you prefer the Sauvignon Blanc? I find that, uh, of course, coming from Ontario, this grape is uh, High acid with uh, from a cool climate and is uh, pebbly. See, I should probably look up at my guests while I'm reading. I got cheat sheets here. You do. You Isn't have, that cool? You up your sleeve. You can order these from the website. You can. You absolutely can get all of that information on the website. Uh -huh. And they're designed so that you know the premise behind the website is to make wine really accessible. Right. It, it is simple. It's anti snob. It's totally anti snob. Totally. Totally and and fun um, and really you find what you like. Find more of what you like and mm -hmm. enjoy it. It doesn't matter what everybody else says. I mean, we have wine reviews. We have some of the best wine writers in the country that I contribute. I know. Some, like, master sommeliers. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So they're contributing. They're there to, to say their part yeah. and help guide you. And if you can make eye contact with your guests, they'll think you're a master sommelier thanks to the cheat sheets. Exactly. Yeah, yeah if you can, if you can, yeah, maybe practice. They practice, then... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, let's talk about do's and don'ts. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about your, your holiday hosting. Um, I mean, there's a number of things that you can do to really make it much easier, and the number one thing is plan. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, planning isn't fun. Do a little bit of it and like make that it morning worthwhile. Or like, well, when you... hey, the only thing is the lineups at the LCBO, so you want to make sure Good that point. as far as the wine goes, I feel like that's one of the most important aspects uh, of the party, uh, so uh, maybe do that a little bit more in advance. And we idea. can help you, Wine Fox can really help you um, figure out what you want right. and then make it a strategic strategic, you know, effort. Go to the LCBO, get what you want. So you can be efficient. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So I've I've brought two bottles in mm -hmm. that we've recently reviewed um, and that are great for holiday entertaining. Mm -hmm. They are what I call crowd pleaser wines. Yeah. Um, and I call them that because I, we have a Chardonnay um, and we have a Cab So These are wines, these are names that people recognize. Right. But they're also very friendly in terms of price. So you can buy a bunch because you're serving a lot. Right. Um, and not feel like you're breaking the bank. Yeah. And that's something uh, many uh, wine lovers do. They want to bring out the best stuff, but uh, you guys say, don't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice if you have something really special and you're doing a dinner. Right. Serve this up, stuff up front. Uh -huh. Do the cheese pairings. Do the appetizers. And then when you're having dinner, if you want to break out the really nice things, then you can really enjoy it. Enjoy it with your meal, yeah. and it feels special. Yeah, but I'm liking cheaping out. I mean, you had me hey, cheaping out. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy that when you're at home on your own. <laughs> right. <laughs> With one There's always another special occasion so you, you want There's to save it. There's plenty. Before. There's mm. plenty. So um, I've also brought in a cheese board, which I find, I mean, who wants to spend hours slaving in the kitchen? Right. Um, you can make a wonderful, wonderful cheese board that works yeah. really well with your with your wines. Um, with Less effort, again, going to Wine Fox, finding out from our cheese blogger, Victoria Walsh, what uh -huh. the best ones to, to get are, pairing them up, yeah. and make it sort of a feature of your party, Yeah, um, which is kind of neat because it'll get people talking. That'll draw um, a crowd. It, it really will. Yeah. It's very fun. And she suggests actually sometimes doing a white wine paired cheese board mm -hmm. and a red wine and make them two separate features. People know what they're what they're pairing with what. Um, I've done one, obviously, but I've kind of segmented out so that you've got your white wine and then your red wine over on this side. Um, and you can put little signs. I love to do that, just like a toothpick. Right. Make your own sign with the name, the region, and then people know what they're eating. Yeah. Because inevitably you'll get the email from someone saying, what was that? Really good cheese that I had, and I mean you've you served however many. Right. Um, so great if you can put those little uh, those little notes. And if they have any wine it. questions, it's on cheat your cheat sheets. sheet. Yes. More cheat sheets. More, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And I see you guys have a lot of accessories that you can get from the website. Well, that's right. We do um, we do have wine gear on the site, yeah. um, but we're also putting together great gift guides so that you can find out no matter yeah. what your budget is. Yeah. Um, what there's are a little stocking stuffer right here. Well, th that's it. I mean, yeah. these are all really good stocking stuffer. This is a wine protector, so yep. it's bubble 
bubble wrap, but yep. it's a little bit more sophisticated right. than, you know, bubble wrap. Yep. Um, great for when you're taking wine on the go. And then you've got an Epivac sealer. So this is awesome. Um, you can, you put the cork in and then you're going to pump out the air. Your wine will last so much, so much longer. And you're talking about, you know, $12. Um, yeah. So for someone who likes to pop open a good bottle, but then feels it's going to go to waste. Great idea for the wine lover who th you thought had everything right there. Perfect. Yes. Stocking stuffers. Okay. Yeah. So it's winefox.ca, and it, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, you have trip ideas. There's a, we have wine you tours, tie it all, wine tours, and, tons of content yeah. to learn about wine. You can sign up for e-newsletters and get special promotions that are only available to our subscribers. Um, so, so really good things happening on Wine Fox. Yeah. Okay. You've made uh, the whole. I could talk much forever. Easier. I, know. I know you could. We got to get you back on. <laughs> okay. okay. It's winefox.ca. Thanks, Lindsay. All right, we're back shopping uh, with uh, Lori. Hey, Lori. Hey, Bob. Yep.